Hey everybody, it's Coach Manley here on Giants Talk episode 10. Uh, we are coming off of our CEFL quarterfinal game, which we took a long 15-hour there, 15-hour back bus ride to Tonin Les Bangs. Is that correct? I think it's correct, close enough. Um, and played the Tonin Black Panthers. Uh, it was a fun experience, great, great atmosphere. Unfortunately, we lost our second game in a row. They were a really good team. Um, and hats off to them, but I think for the team in general, it was a really good experience, time, we enjoyed ourselves, it was a great atmosphere and game to play, and it just did not go the way we wanted it to go, but thank you to the Giants Nation that did come and support us at the game, it was great to see you guys there, um, our support from fans and everybody in the club is amazing, so we thank you very much for being there. Our two players of the week from that game was offensively uh, Jonas Dox Wiesinger. He had caught two or three passes, our only touchdown of the game. Uh, he did quite well on offense. And then defensively is Stefan Derenberger. He played really well up front on the D-line, uh, gave it all we had. We were kind of short on the D-line, so he fought a lot. They were big, and he did as good as he could. So those two guys get the, get the nod for the players of the week. And, our special guest today, Timo Summer. Timo, your first time on the show. Welcome to Giants Talk, dude. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So talk about the CEFL. I'm assuming your first international game outside of national team. So how did you think the whole experience was? 30 hours in a bus, quick nap, game day, and then going through how was the whole experience of a true international game on a road against a team like like Tony I mean I think it was a really nice trip and I think the guys and we had fun mm -hmm. um, which I think is the most important part it was a hard game tough game they were physical yeah um, they were very fast very talented players and yeah it's hard to um, Adjusted to such a team uh, that week because they obviously have, um, yeah, a lot of talent. Yeah, no, they were really good, <laughs> fast, as you said, and they were pretty grown in a sense. Not saying that we aren't, but we have yeah. 15 guys between the ages of 17 and 19, and they have one dude on their whole team under 20. So it was pretty much, yeah, a bunch of 28 to 32 year olds against us. We're yeah. about 10 years younger on average, but. It was a great experience to play a game like that, 100%. Um, you are correct. So now we move on to Telfs. Obviously, we know Telfs is not the best. They have improved every week, though, which is good to see. They're scoring points. They're playing a little better on defense. But um, what are our expectations coming in uh, Saturday in our first home game in three weeks coming back home in, in Actionburg um, against Telfs? I think the most important part is that we don't keep losing to ourselves. Yep. We have to take the next step and be a, that good team that we know we can be and we know we should be. And when we don't get um, penalties on offense and do not get off the field on third down on defense, do our job in special teams, we should be able to win that game. Yeah, I think so too. As long as we do it, we're supposed to avoid injuries and everything else. We should get a nice win here, hopefully. And Everybody will be able to play, yes. which is great. They can get their time on the field, get reps, all that good stuff, and and hopefully we come out unscathed and, and can get another win and back on track. So, uh, as I said earlier, you being a youth national team guy, kind of off the topic of Giants AFL, you guys have a yes. big trip to Canada here for the World Championships in about a month, I think, yeah, four weeks. I think, yeah, after the break. Yeah, pretty okay. much after the, the last game of the season. So, how has it been going with the camps that you guys have had so far, entering Canada, the whole thing of playing in a world championship and in, in a totally different continent and yeah. against the eight best countries in the world for U20 football? I mean, it's a big thing, obviously. And the camps have been tough, but it is supposed to be like that mm. because the nation has to send the 45 best guys to the, to the competition. Um, but yeah, obviously it's been a lot of fun too, um, getting to know the other people, other teams that you maybe don't see that much or don't see at all because they're in the lower divisions. Yep. And it's a 
they're really great guys, you know. And I think we're ready um, to show the world what Austria can do. Yeah, no, I hope it goes well for you guys and that we win a few games for, for Austria and, and for our Giants representing the team. And uh, how is it, I guess, having a coach on our staff and, of course, uh, Kippy as well and, and Coach Nuke who helps the O-line, but how is it having Coach Corny who's on our staff full-time and also there at the camp? Does it make things smoother transitionally? I know he's the D.C. Does it help a bit between? Yeah. Is it a little different from – how he is with us to the national team or from it your, your it standpoint? It definitely helps a lot to yep. have guys you know and you know how they coach and stuff like that. Um, so it's been a blessing for me. Okay. Because for me, I'm, I've been a receiver yep. for the past years and now I'm a DB. So make the change is pretty hard. And you, Coach Corny, have been doing a really good job at getting me used to it. And I think it's the same with the national team. The, the coaches there just help everyone out and um, they help you out to get them to the next step you need to be. Yeah, to get ready to play. Yeah, And then you just brought it up. How has the transition been from playing receiver slash quarterback, I guess, your whole life to now you do none of it anymore and you play DB and special teams and you're hitting people and now on the defensive side of the ball. How has that transition been over the last six um, months or so? It's been pretty hard. Because DP is probably the hardest position in football, mm -hmm. apart from quarterback. Yep. And, yep. Um, just the technique and terminology. Yeah, terminology. terminology yeah. Um, is um, really different. But like I said earlier, you and the coaching staff have been doing a good job at helping out. And I think I've been doing fairly well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a step I, I think I needed to make to get better and to help the team out to win perfect yeah no i would agree and that's done. everything i want to is win yeah and to be in a position that the team can win and the coaches say I have, i'm best in defense i will play defense i don't care well that's what we need yeah team <laughs> players like that if it helps us win then that's what we need you've done a really good job so far so hopefully we can keep it going well timo thanks for being on the show we appreciate you being here on short notice on your break from university. So yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. And Giants Nation, we have our first home game in the last two or three weeks this Saturday against the Telf Patriots. Um, kickoff is 3 p.m. Yeah, so make sure everybody gets there. Tickets are on sale online already, and they're also available at the gate. Make sure you're here on time before kickoff. So especially important in a few weeks later when we play the Vikings at home, you want to be on time. So start practicing it now um, <laughs> beforehand. So, um, but yeah, and also at halftime, we will have a presentation of all of our units. So our cheerleading teams, all the, the powerlifting team and all of our youth teams, flag teams, everybody will uh, be there. So make sure your friends, family come out to support them as well as the men's AFL team. Um, as we look for our first win in the last two weeks against the Tough Patriots. So thanks a lot and go Giants.